Hey guys, what's up, MetaBurns? And today we're opening a Nightfall First Edition's Tikini Owl uh, Tribal Theme Deck. This is the Spirit Aura Theme Deck from Nightfall. Very excited to open this, guys. I've heard a lot of good things about this here. And of course, these Nightfall Theme Decks, guys, are going up in value slightly, uh, slowly but surely. So I'm trying to open all of these before they go up too high in value. Uh, yeah, obviously, guys, I am trying to open every single theme deck. So, of course, we get one ready-to-play theme deck here, guys, featuring this Zikini Owl. You also get a bonus promo card of that same Owl. You also get a booster pack of Nightfall. You get a coin, a rule book, all sorts of good stuff. Let's crack this open and see exactly what that theme deck looks like. Quick look at the back in case you want to read any of those excerpts there. Alrighty, let's remove that seal and see exactly what we get inside this tribal theme deck. So, oop, alrighty, there we go. So, there is that promo card there, guys. I love the artwork on this card. That hollow is just so gorgeous. That dark blue background with the whole purple card. Oh, just so much beautiful coloring there. I love the artwork, of course. And there is that Nightfall stamp. And there is the Sakini Owl. So, that is four, aura, four Spirit Aura and one Generic. So, five total. 60 LP. Got a whole bunch of traits there. It's a Spirit. Uh, it's got Flight. I'm not exactly sure what that is there. I guess 20 uh, damage bonus in nighttime as well as a 20 LP bonus. Contract, you may place target BC with an aura cost of one or less from your afterlife into the arena awakened. Exploiting effects 40 damage. This attack deals plus 20 damage for every opposing page with a status effect indicator. So that's pretty interesting. So I'm assuming this deck just has you bring a whole bunch of things back from the afterlife, getting things into the afterlife. Very interesting, very cool. And of course there is that rule book. We get our one nightfall booster pack there we also get a coin of course it's a very cool looking coin i'm not sure exactly uh what bc that is there but uh yeah very cool nonetheless and of course that is a red coin i think it's my first red coin in my collection very cool we also get our play mat of course and let's get into that spell book now guys starting off with that stikini owl so went over that already we'll put that card to the side right there next up we got black eyed children so 20 lp this is a one cost spirit uh one spirit aura it's a spirit trait as well. 20 LP bonus at night, 20, uh, or 20 damage bonus at night, sorry. And 20 damage bonus, I think that's in suburbs or in a house. Uh, this page's attacks deal plus 10 damage if you are seen with brown eyes. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, Midnight Knock, 20 damage attack can only deal up to 30 damage to non-casters. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. So I guess you kind of want, want to mainly attack um, casters with these dudes here. But of course... Uh, they can deal still deal up to 30 damage, I guess, still to anything else. And you can have 10 per spell book. I think that's pretty interesting. Let's see what we get. We got one, two, three, four. Okay, so four of those uh, black-eyed children. Next up, we got the familiar here, which is one spirit aura for 25 LP. It's also a spirit trait. Uh, 10 damage bonus at night. 10 damage bonus. I think that's the full moon. Arena, at the end of your turn, place a BC from your limbo into your afterlife. Okay, so with this card, we can get things into the afterlife. And Stikini Owl will bring them out from the afterlife. Very cool. It's ability here, a little help, so we can fatigue it. The next spirit, uh, dark, or generic spell you contract this turn costs one less aura. This effect does not stack, so you can't do a bunch of these, but that's pretty good. You can basically tap this to generate an aura, essentially. Uh, Lending Hand, 20 damage, and its attack deals plus 10 damage if you control a beastie witch. Very cool. So we got one, two, three, four in the deck there. Six is the limit. There are four in the deck. Next, we got Spectre Moose. This is two spirit aura and one generic aura, 50 LP. Another Spirit BC, I believe that's Flash, uh, it gains 10 damage and 10 LP bonus in the forest, as well as a 10 damage and 10 LP bonus, I believe that is um, at Sundown, because the sun is down, so I guess that's uh, not Sunrise, but maybe like um, a Dawn, I guess, maybe that's Dawn. Uh, so this page can be contracted with Forest Aura if Forest is active. Contract, awaken this page and immediately declare an attack with it if a uh, Spirit or forest beastie was destroyed this turn so very cool so if we get attacked with our spirit beasties anything dies you can play this and immediately swing with it that's that's pretty cool and its attack is actually 40 damage that's pretty good and extra damage there to water that's pretty good so strong against water it's attack as well as dark that's pretty good i suppose i think water is pretty good right now so let's see what we get yeah one two copies of that in the deck oh i like the art of this card a lot the spookster one uh one uh spirit aura 20 lp another spirit bc uh, when this page enters the arena, uh, flip a coin. If heads, search the afterlife for a beastie and place it into your spell book. Shuffle your spell book. Okay, very cool. So you can get things back into your spell book if you need to. Maybe if you get a, if you get a stikini owl and you can stick it into your afterlife, you can use this to get it back into your spell book. Pretty cool. And it's attack spiritual poof, ten, and it confuses the target. How many of those we get in the deck? One, two, three, four copies of the spook. So I like the artwork there a lot. Next we got Morpheus. This is a spell for one spirit aura. 
Target BC is inflicted with sleep. The coin flip for sleep is automatically considered heads, unless an effect was late otherwise. So for one, we can sleep something there. We got three and four copies there of Morpheus. Next, we got Possession. This is two Spirit Aura. A spell, take control of target beastie, deal five damage to it, and awaken it. At the end of this turn, return target beastie to its original owner's owner, fatigued. If it is still in the arena, you may not target the same beastie with a possession again this turn. Okay, cool. So, we can take control of things. That's pretty good. That's pretty interesting, actually. It's an interesting strategy. Let's see, two, three copies of that. And, of course, guys, we get a power up, right? That's a staple. Three, generic aura, give something 100 LP and 100 plus, plus 100 damage, uh, and it cannot gain um, invincible. Of course, bookmark one generic art to draw two, one and two, a copy of New Beginnings, of course. Next we got, oh, we got some potions. Bro, this is for free, uh, for, uh, no no cost. You may play this page at any time. Choose the next result of an opposing caster's die roll or coin flip. Okay, that's pretty cool. So hey, we see him play something they want to get a, a heads. We can just change it to a tails. That's pretty good. Two copies of that. Next we got, okay, yeah, Nighttime Terra. Two copies of that. And some Spear Aura. So I actually like that Spear Aura artwork a lot. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten spear are there to finish off the spell book. Let's crack open this pack of Nightfall here, guys. Not gonna lie though, this spell book is actually something I think I'm going to start playing with this weekend and actually starting to try and learn. I think it's two to the front of the set. I just don't want to spoil anything. Let's go to two to the front. Um, but yeah, I do actually want to play this deck. So yeah, this looks pretty interesting. I do like the strategy of kind of bringing things back. Oh, nice smoky spirits. Love to see those. Bloody bones, crystallized light. A Dover Demon. Oh, we got a Reverse Hollow, Wallow of Lake, Crustacean this pack, uh, Lightning Alley. Oh, I guess it was four to the front in this as well. And there's our Tentacle Token. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more Medizu content. I'll see you guys in the next video and have a good one.